Hi everyone, Liz from Discovery Museum. This April marks the 25th anniversary of National Poetry Month. National Poetry Month was established by the Academy of American Poets to celebrate the important role that poets and poetry play in our culture. Writing poetry and reading poems is a great way to explore words in new and interesting ways. You can experiment with how they fit together to form rhymes and rhythms, to tell a story, share your thoughts and feelings, and express your creativity. In honor of National Poetry Month, I wanted to have a little fun with words by creating a word collage. To create a word collage, you'll need some old magazines or catalogs, some junk mail. You'll want a piece of paper or two, it can be any kind. You'll need some scissors and some tape or some glue. You can start a word collection by looking for words that have meaning to you, sound interesting, or look cool on the page. Once you have some words cut out, you can play with arranging them on your paper. And once you have them placed the way you like, you can secure them in place with glue or tape. Now, when I was creating my collage, I ended up putting together a few short phrases that I thought flowed well when read together. Your words could also form a joyful jumble of lines and curves on the page. And word collages aren't just for independent readers. Young poets will enjoy playing with pre-cut out words, and you don't need a lot, you can also flip through a magazine together to look for simple words or letters of the alphabet. And collages of any kind are a great way to practice using tools like scissors, tape, and glue. However you choose to celebrate National Poetry Month, I hope you find some poetry-inspired creativity.